Hi guys, here is the long awaited video on how to make unique scenery paintings on leather bags, like is seen on my bags. The video is a tutorial step by step process of making leather paintings using vinyl stencil. Painting on leather can be done in different ways. The most popular method is manual painting by hand, as I used to do when I started leather crafting. However, manual paintings by hand is time consuming and doesn't guarantee consistency when you need to produce many identical items. That is why I devised this vinyl stencil method, which I'm going to show you in this video. This method is faster and guarantees a great level of consistency, especially if you want to create your own brand with unique art design like mine. Leather painting can be done using leather dyes or stains, as well as acrylic leather paints. For veg tanned leathers, I prefer using leather dyes, while for chrome tanned leathers, I prefer acrylic leather paints. The method I'm going to show you involves initial high cost investment, but the time saving and the ability to make many projects in short time outweighs the initial investment cost. The materials you need for this method of leather painting are as follows. A vinyl cutting machine. I used the grey cut marker tray for this. A printer with scanner. A removable adhesive vinyl. I used grey cut removable smart vinyl for this. Vinyl weeding tools. Vinyl transfer sheets. An airbrush and a compressor. A masking tape a leather preparer and degreaser, acrylic leather paint or leather dye, whichever one you prefer, acrylic leather paint thinner, I use Angelus tool thin for this. The first step in this method is to create your art drawing for the vinyl stencil. Start by drawing outline of your desired art which you want to paint on your leather product. You can draw inspiration from any object you are interested in. For this demonstration, I'm taking inspiration from a drawing on a kitchen paper towel, which I want to transfer on the mini tote bag I'm making. My next video will be on how to make this mini tote bag. I will also include a download link for the free PDF pattern in the video. So stay tuned by subscribing and clicking the bell notification button so you will be notified once I upload the video. Back to the business of the day. After you finish drawing the outlines of your art, increase the visibility of the outline with a marker pen. After that, scan your drawing and import it into Inkscape software. You can download Inkscape software for free from the web. Select the drawing and use the Trace Bitmap option from the Path menu on the menu bar to trace the outlines of the drawing. On the Trace Bitmap pop-up window, select Edge Detection option. Set the threshold to about 250 or 150 depending on the sharpness of your outline drawing. Make sure the smooth and stack scans are checked and also check the remove the background option to remove the background of your scanned drawing. After that, click OK and drag the traced outline away from your scanned drawing using your mouse. Close the trace bitmap window and delete your scanned drawing leaving only the traced outline. Select the trace outline art and export it as PNG file to a folder of your choice. In this case, I'm exporting it to my mini tote bag design folder. Open your bag design in scape file and import the PNG file into the design space. Adjust the PNG file to fit your bag design the way you want it and take note of the width and height dimensions in centimeter. Then move to the second step which is cutting out the vinyl stencil. Open the Cricut Marker 3 design space software on your computer. Click on the home menu and select canvas. From the left hand corner menu, go down and click the upload button.
click upload image, browse and select your outlined PNG file. Select compress under the select image type menu, then click continue. Click apply and continue. Select cut image option and click upload. Select your image from the recent uploads and click add to canvas. Select your image on the canvas and set the width and height to the dimensions of your back design. Click make it. Select your material, in this case, without mat for clay cut smart materials only. Confirm your selection and you will see on the left hand side the size of vinyl material needed for the stencil cutout. Cut out the exact size of the vinyl material. Click continue. Select your base material, in this case, Smart Vinyl Removable. Load the vinyl material in the Cricut Marker 3 machine and press the Go button. Wait for the machine to finish cutting the vinyl stencil. After the cut is done, the third step is to weed off the cutouts from the vinyl stencil and transfer it to your leather. Use your weeding tools to remove the cutouts and reveal the stencil. Place a transfer sheet on the weeded stencil and remove air bubbles. Gently lift up the transfer sheet with the vinyl stencil of the backing paper. Make sure every part you needed is attached to the transfer sheet. Apply leather paper and degreaser on the surface of your leather to remove the outer finish on the leather. Gently place the stencil on the leather and remove the air bubbles in between. Pull out the transfer sheet slowly, leaving only the vinyl stencil on the leather. Make sure the vinyl stencil is sticked to the leather firmly. Then use masking tape to cover other parts of the leather you don't want the paint to get to. The fourth step is to apply paint on the leather. Prepare your acrylic leather paint and mix with paint thinner to make it light enough for airbrush. Pour the paint into your airbrush tank and start spraying the leather gently and uniformly. After spraying, allow the paint to dry for about 45 minutes or more before moving to the final step. After drying, the last step is to peel off the vinyl stencil and seal the paint using acrylic leather paint finisher. Use your weeding tools to peel off the vinyl stencil, revealing the painted art. Apply acrylic leather paint finisher on the painted leather to fix the paint in and protect it from scratches and wipe off. Allow to set for about 30 minutes and your painted leather is good to be put in use. Thanks for your attention so far. To see the finished mini tote bag and how to make it, subscribe and click the bell notification button so you will be notified when I upload the video in coming weeks. Thanks.